Madam President, <clears throat> I rise to make a, a brief statement in my capacity as Minister of Finance in the Nevis Island Administration on the fiscal situation of the Nevis Island Administration for the year thus far to June 2023, which represents midway through our usual fiscal year. I did disclose some information during my recent press conference, which was held on the 29th of June. But today I provide updated information as further numbers have become available, as various departments have now reported earnings and expenditure for the month of June. Madam President, the signs thus far are encouraging as we fight our way out of the recent global pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. The revenue performance has improved. Current revenue, January to June 2023, now stands at 76,284,300. The same period in 2022 saw current revenue of 68 million $51,124. So it means that current revenue is up by some $8.2 million or 12.1% this year over last year. Corporate income tax, January to June 2023, stands at 7.9 million, while at the same period in 2022, this tax yielded only $3.08 million. The increase this half year period is therefore some 4.87 million or 157.9%. That increase is largely attributable to payment of arrears in taxes, corporate taxes that is, by a large company here and the proceeds of revenue sharing between IRD, the Inland Revenue Department in St. Kitts and the Inland Revenue Department in Nevis in relation to another significant company. On VAT, the value-added tax through our Inland Revenue Department, January to June 2023, we would have saw revenue of some $14,397,265. That same period last year yielded $12,236,922. And therefore, we've seen an increase this year in VAT collected at the IRD of some 2.16 million or 17.65%. This, again, Madam President, points to a considerable uptick in the local economy, especially in tourism, as the majority of that VAT increase came from the tourism sector. Social services levy has moved from a six month figure of $5.4 million in 2022 to $6.3 million, an increase of $924,112, or 17% this year. This reflects the growth in employment and level of wages thus far this year, and is also, Madam President, a good sign of economic recovery. More people are working, and people are earning higher wages. At our Customs Department, our value-added tax collected at customs, January to June 2023, we saw just $8.3 million. And that compares to, well, let me give precise figures here. The period January to June 2023, $8,386,839. The same period last year, January to June 2022, $8,325,453. So there's been a marginal increase of 0.7% at customs for VAT collection. However, insofar as import duties are concerned, Madam President, we have seen a decline of 4.98% on import duties. Customs, January to June 2023, would have collected some $5.1 million. And last year, that figure, at this same time, was $5.4 million. People may well ask, well, how come import duties are down? And I think a big part of that is the continuing concessions that the government has given on import duties to try and stimulate economic activity, particularly in the construction sector. Financial services, Madam President, January to June 2023, and we unfortunately did not get numbers for the end of June, but thus far the numbers that we have would show that this year, 
from financial services, we have already earned $7.2 million. Last year at the same time, that figure was $6.1 million. So the increase is just over a million dollars, representing 17.23% in terms of an increase. There was, in fact, Madam President, and I think this is good news, a dramatic jump in registered entities. From 799 entities registered in the first half of last year to 1,430 entities registered in the first half of this year, an increase of some 79%. I should explain quickly that part of the reason we're seeing such an increase is we're seeing a flow of business moving from some of the other jurisdictions into Nevis. There are good reasons for that, but we won't get into that now. I hope that if we come back for the budget, we'll get into that at that time. Property tax, another important tax, Madam President. It has yielded thus far for the first half of this year $1.8 million, and that is up some $300,744, or 19%, from the $1.5 million collected in the same period in 2022. I believe, Madam President, I want to go on record this morning, that property tax is still badly underperforming. And I urge taxpayers to be responsible and honor their obligations to the government. Property tax is a tax, I feel, that ought to be yielding much more revenue than it is yielding. And there are certain deficiencies that is leading to that. We're working on those, but we're also urging our taxpayers to be responsible and to pay their taxes. On the tourism development levy, Madam President, you would know and the House would know, and the public no doubt would know, that we levy a 2% tax on hotel stays, restaurant uh, purchases, uh, food and beverage, and uh, allied services to the tourism sector. That 2% is what we then use to fund the marketing efforts of the Nevis Tourism Authority. On the tourism development levy, that 2%, available for the five months from January to May 2023, the revenue stood at $1.8 million. Some $533,043.75, or 40.3% above the same period in 2022, when we earned $1.3 million from that sector. This again points to an excellent recovery, Madam President, in the tourism and restaurant sector. Nevis's share of CBI proceeds thus far for fiscal year 2023 amounted to $33 million, which brings the island's total revenue at this halfway stage of the year to $109,959,970, which is just about 1.5 percent above our 2023 budgeted target for the six months, June, January to June. So at this pace, we are just above our budgeted revenue targets for that period. The number of business licenses applied for during the first half of this year is 181, compared to 141 for the same period last year, an increase in new business license applications of 28.3%. Madam President, let me say, however, and they've asked me at Finance to make this clear, that all of this may not represent new businesses, meaning businesses that are brand new. What we have been trying to do is for some small businesses that are existing is to try and get them to get their business license. So this number would have some small businesses that were perhaps pre-existing but are now being asked to get their license to operate and so bring themselves within the law. And so we have had 181 applications this year thus far. Of course, any report on the financial situation must also look at expenditure. And so on the expenditure side, Madam President, total expenditure January to June 2023, including our debt servicing ob obligations, stands at $108,741,545, which is up some $14.6 million, representing a 15.6% increase over the same period last year. Of that expenditure, personal emoluments driven largely by the historic salary increase thus far to public servants 
amounted to $44.2 million, up some $3.5 million or 8.21%. Capital expenditure rose significantly during this period, largely due to ongoing road construction, from $17.8 million for the January to June period in 2022 to $24.4 million for the same period this year for a 37.4% increase in capital expenditure. The majority of this is attributable to the build-out in road and water infrastructure on the island. So you see all the long speech we heard from the minister for number one, it's because he's spending all the money. Road and water infrastructure on the island. Madam President, I end by saying that the state of the economic, economic recovery thus far in Nevis is commendable. It is commendable. We are, I believe, on the right track. But I urge the various ministries to continue to be fiscally prudent so as to control the expenditure side of the budget while, of course, we continue to try to maximize the revenue collection. May it please you, Madam President.